Hi viewers, I am Dr. C. V. Kannaki Uttararaj, Director of Tamaray Fertility and Women's Health Services based in Coimbatore with branches in Chennai, Salem, Tirupur, Polachi and Uti. Uh, I have been a postgraduate, uh, I did my postgraduate from in obstetric gynecology from MMC. Madras Medical College and was further trained in uh, fertility medicine at the National University Hospital Singapore and UK and at Germany and I've been in this uh, doing dedicated service in this field for the past 25 years and uh, coming to the problem of infertility usually the cause may be in the male or in the female partner. Uh, so both of them have to be uh, examined, subjected to certain simple tests at first and then the problem has to be identified. What is the factor causing fert uh, the fertility issue? This has to be identified. So this is our first step. So when a couple come in, we check in how, is she, how apart from the general profile, we check whether she is ovulating, making the, uh, releasing the eggs every month by scan, by hormone tests. And in the mail, we check his uh, semen analysis. We do his semen analysis to see if the count, the sperm count, the motility and the morphology are okay. So these are very basic tests. And with this information, we counsel the patient as to what uh, is their prospects, what is their problem, what are the prospects of treatment, what is the um, cost of the treatment. And we take them through simple steps initially unless there is a serious problem then we have to go take them to a higher step of treatment like IVF and the serious problems could be bilateral tubal block it could be a severe uh, uh, reduction in the sperm count motility or morphology so or a, a lady entering 35 and uh, entering her 35th uh, year so these are the people whom this is the sector whom we need to treat more aggressively so we plan the treatment according to the patient. It's highly, highly individualized. It cannot be on a blanket protocol. And having done these tests, we tried if the tubes are patent, if the male, if the sperm count is reasonably normal, then we offer them simple treatment like IUI. Sometimes they may conceive even with tablets, when with natural intercourse. And if it doesn't happen, then we check the tubes and the uterus and then take them for this intrauterine insemination which is one of the simplest uh, treatments available for an infertile couple uh, if the tubes are patent and the sperm count is reasonably normal. The IUI process is uh, basically we induce the lady with the uh, ov ovulation induction drugs and when with a scan we check when the day of ovulation and on that day we after triggering the ovulation we ask the husband to give a sample we process it remove all the unwanted uh, material in the semen and as well as the abnormal sperms collect the normal sperms activate them with culture medium and gently put them into the uterus uh, with a very delicate catheter uh, so that the sperms are very close to the egg which is waiting in the tube and fertilization uh, or the entry of the sperm happens and this fertilized uh, egg moves a couple of days later into the uterus. So these are, this is a very simple process and gives a success uh, about 1 in 5 times. Now suppose this does not work, we offer this IUI for at least 6 cycles and if it doesn't work then we go on to higher treatment like in vitro fertilization where uh, assisted it's basically assisted reproductive technology where of which IVF is one of the simpler uh, forms where the sperm is normal we um, uh, ask the lady uh, give the lady hormonal injections to produce more than one X because only if we have about 10 X only about uh, say 10 percent of those eggs will be genetically normal and therefore we go in for a controlled ovarian hyperstimulation. We deliberately want to uh, raise up more eggs. So we collect these eggs by a simple procedure of ultrasound guided uh, oocyte retrieval under short anesthesia. And once the eggs are in the lab, 
The lab has to be a very special lab where the environment is totally under control. It's like keeping a baby in the uh, in a, in a special room. So everything has to be clean, toxin free, and has to be no smells. And the lab is checked thoroughly before it is uh, before the egg uh, comes in, and it's kept in kept in special incubators and monitored uh, the, by noon or so. If we collect the eggs in the morning, by evening we inject, we collect the sperm from the husband, separate the good ones, and if the sperm is not very uh, active, we inject them into the, we take a single sperm and under the microscope, we keep the egg there and very delicately inject the sperm, uh, it's, which is called intracytoplasmic sperm injection. You can imagine how delicate it is holding a cell uh, and injecting it under the microscope. So it requires a lot of expertise. We have very senior embryologists who have been doing this for ages, doing this procedure. And uh, so the success depends upon the lab, the embryologist and the stimulation. Three important things which decide the success of IVF. Of course, the quality of the egg and the quality of the sperm has to be good, meaning this genetic quality has to be good. So when we inject it, so we incubate it for uh, next uh, uh, 24 and 48 we check them periodically and at 72 hours they are 6 to 8 cells so some of the patients we may put them back at this on day 3 and some of them we have too many eggs for example 10 embryos growing we want to select the breast we grow, grow them for another couple of days day 5 into what is called as blastosis and we can replace them on day five blastosis. We select the best and transfer. If we have excess embryos, we of course freeze them and we can use them in further cycles without any extra cost for treatment. And uh, there are f uh, more uh, things that can be done for special things for the difficult sperms like the horse test, uh, like um, globus uspermia, yeah, these are patients uh, we have treated and achieved pregnancies uh, and uh, these require a special expertise. One important uh, thing which we went through is uh, which we offer is a modified natural cycle or a soft cycle IVF. There are many patients who cannot afford to spend the, that much on the hormones or the uh, drugs. So we, uh, after looking at several research articles, we do the modified natural cycle, which is basically done with a few tablets. Uh, and so the drug cost comes down to, uh, drastically. We often get one or two embryos, one or two eggs, and therefore one or two embryos. And we have had successful pregnancies even in women above 40 years. Those who have been advised to undergo donor egg program have come to us and have got pregnancies uh, through this soft cycle method. This requires an excellent lab as well as a, a very careful stimulation protocol and of course an, a very uh, skilled embryologist. So we are able to offer this. We never uh, do patients in batches. We do one a day or so so that we can concentrate on them and do the best for the patient and we have been able to achieve success with this modified natural cycle or the so-called soft cycle IVF where the cost is less and we get the same uh, results for treatment. Thank you for your listening and if you wish help for infertility issues feel free to contact us on the uh, email IDs or the phone number given below. You can also visit our website which is given below. Thank you.